Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to fix today, I'll try to fix the catcher on this happy embroidery machine. This is a uh, doll of this model. But I think they are generally the same. So, um, what I had as a problem is you can see that the catcher is completely bent and it's not gonna fit properly into the front and back in place with the machine I already removed the back plate with the velcro that is holding the thread yeah it's holding itself by three little screws one two three the one in the middle was completely lost maybe that's the reason actually the catcher got bent because I was sewing on the needle number six and it just completely bent as you can see here it's definitely in really bad shape it should be pointing directly down now how are we gonna remove it? I already moved the machine to the to the 12th needle number 12 so it's just easier to gain access to the assembly I removed the bottom plate as well here it's just holding itself by three screws I don't think there was any point of doing this but still so now now just unplug it from the power the emergency stop button is also stopped I removed the side cover the way to remove the side cover is there is like two screws on the side sorry but it's very very late in the evening So I'm yelling a little bit. Now, what we need to remove is this screw right there and this screw right there. Is there anything else? I don't think so. No, it's just these two. Okay, now this LED plate is being powered by a cable this is here on top I need to remove also we need to remove these cables this one just this one okay let me take this little thing off as well Okay, so I got undone this one, uh, almost stripped it. Then I undid this little screw and I pulled the light off. And now I want to do this one here. Let's see how much of a movement we got. I can't feel any right here. Let's see again. I'm collecting all the screws in this little pot. You can see the play here. So you want to be adjusted. a little bit too much oh I completely mangled it okay doesn't look right now what I'm gonna do is set up the camera and we'll see what we can do with that I'm very interested what is underneath. Let's just open all the screws and see. It's undone all the screws. No, nothing. It's nothing complicated. Hmm. 
good. That's how the mechanism sits. Now what we can do Just take the whole thing back and gently make it nice and even. I take my pliers. This whole assembly is so delicate here on this part. Maybe if I take it and tap it onto something flat, do you think it will be better? Let's let's close that whole thing. I can see it's very well lubricated, which makes me very happy. Um, which way it was like this or like that? <laughs> I forgot, let's just see the video. That's why always a good idea to make video of yourself. It is here, like that. Okay, can you see? So it moves back. Not like this. Not like this or? It's like this, yeah. Transposition, this is like that. I'll oh, check again. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. So I was thinking it's like this. But it's actually not actually it's like this because this sensor here, when it's all the way in, you can sense it's all the way in, and that's how you know. So that's the correct way. Now let's place that cover on. We can see how it looks if we need to order a spare part or something. Okay, so I got all the bolts tight and everything is moving. The first try didn't want to move. I don't know exactly why, but as you can see, still mangled. Yeah, so we need to make sure it's nice and flat all the way around. Otherwise, you need a new one. So, what I'm suggesting is place it onto here and then just tap with a small hammer on top of it. And when you don't have a small hammer, you can always use a ratchet. Even the plastic part is maybe even better. Huh? Let's try it now on this side. Looks 
flat to me let's try it let's give it a little bit more nice and with even pressure Looks okay to me now. I'll mount it back into there. <coughs> but first thing I'm gonna do, I'll measure the voltage to these two LEDs because I really want to replace them. I decided to put that plate as well on the bottom so I don't need to put it when I'm on the machine. Uh, something else I notice is that the velcro on my machine is supposed to be on the holder here the magic tape that uh, stops from untreading it used to be on the bottom I don't know if you can see yeah but my one is on the on the plate and this plate the opening here for the screws are offset the longer side goes towards the plate yeah so what I'm gonna adjust the the mechanism usually this thing should rest onto the onto this bit yeah but my one will rest onto the top because if it goes here it will go underneath the velcro and that's a problem in the case of someone has been here before and he just put a normal velcro it's nothing like magic tape or anything it's actually pretty soft as well okay so I installed this one and I plugged the cable because I forgot the first time and I'll show you without the backing plate how it moves I'll just move it from directly from here Definitely not the best one, but I think it will do the job. Now, because I'm missing a bolt, I took out of one of a hard drive, and I'm not sure now. It should not stick out too much, yeah. So that's the little washer and the long part is towards the bottom. So now let's grab a little screw on this side, a little screwdriver on this side, push. You should know that it's, it's not that easy. Yeah, especially if something falls on the ground, you're done. <laughs> now, I'll make like a little washer out of a soldering core, like solder. because it's very easy to bend and and I can cut it into shape it's good that well, 
it just disappeared anyway second one should be better there we go, very soft metal No, maybe if I make it a little bit bigger. The try to is good if it's soft. I just don't know what else I can make a little washer out of. This one is very small. <coughs> now, pay attention and be quiet. Well, that was it. <laughs> you are not quiet enough. Show you on the back now. Now, let's see how the machine behaves when I put the thread, the thread cut on. You just go through the first needle, which is actually the 12th needle, and you just check the Red cut. It seems okay. Ah, only if I showed you. Okay, let's see on the six needle. see that it's not feeling okay what is the problem is that uh, the uh, velcro is on the bottom not on the top and it's too close to the needle and it's actually catching the needle because the velcro should be on the top and not on the bottom yeah so what I'm gonna do now I'll take out the velcro yeah and I'll put the new velcro in uh, this will gonna be a, a separate video that's for the catcher and uh, yeah you know how it works now but the velcro needs to be on the top okay I hope this video has been helpful to you Give me a comment and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.